The release of Stranger Things Season 4 Volume 2 is soon upon us, and with each day that brings us closer to the season finale, more and more theories are showing up across the internet. And today I'm going to talk about one theory in particular that, if true, could blow our collective minds if we do actually see it becoming a reality in the show. And the question is simply, is Henry Creel, 001, or simply Vecna, the father of the very main star of the show? Eleven. As some of you are by no what? doubt scratching your heads in confusion right now, I'll try to explain this theory to you. So let's start at the beginning, shall we? Oh, and by the way, remember to subscribe. From the very first season, Eleven's parenthood was a mystery. It wasn't until season two that we actually got to meet Eleven's mother, Terry Ives, but by then, Terry's mind was in shambles. And this is because Terry was actually one of the first participants in the MK Ultra project that was headed by Dr. Brenner. During her years at the Hawkins laboratory, Terry became pregnant, however, Dr. Brenner was the first to figure this out. And because of this, he sedated Terry and put her into a forced labor. And we can also see that he's one of the doctors who actually delivered Eleven. But wait a moment, even if we know the story of what happened between Eleven and her mother, how exactly did Terry become pregnant with Eleven in the first place? Ah, well, here's where the theory kicks in. If we look at the time span when Terry participated in the MKUltra project, we know that she joined the project in 1969, and while there, she took mind-altering and psychedelic drugs, which made her sensorily deprived. This, in turn, is what is given as the motivation to why Eleven is so powerful in the first place. But there might be another reason. Henry Creel, also known as 001, was born in 1947 with supernatural abilities. And after having been labeled as a broken individual, his family moved to Hawkins, where he subsequently grew stronger with his abilities until he slaughtered his entire family except for his father, Victor, who was framed for the murders and put in a mental hospital. Dr. Brenner was then revealed to be the one behind framing Victor's father, and Brenner's curiosity with Henry was what made him start the original MKUltra project in the first place. Now, let's go forward in time. As we know that the year was 1969 when Terry joined the project with Dr. Brenner, this would mean that Henry would have been around 22 years old, and since Terry was born in 1951, this would make her four years younger at somewhere around 18 years old. Now, Terry went into forced labor in June 1971, around two years after she joined the project, which is an ample time span for her to get to know Henry or 001. So, this theory basically suggests that Terry and Henry had some form of romantic relationship during their time at the Hawkins Laboratory. Ah, but here comes the kicker. In the official novelization of Stranger Things titled Suspicious Minds, it's revealed that Terry actually had a boyfriend whom, according to the novel, she got pregnant together with. This boyfriend's name was Andrew Rich, and as far as we knew, up until the season 4 of Stranger Things, Andrew was considered Eleven's father. Andrew, however, was yet another victim of Dr. Brenner's manipulations, as he managed to get Andrew sent off to fight in the Vietnam War, which is why we never heard of Andrew until the novel. But here's the thing, just because Andrew was officially Terry's everyday boyfriend, this doesn't mean that she wouldn't have grown feelings for Henry while in the Hawkins lab. As far as we know, Henry slash Vecna has been shown to be extremely manipulative as he managed to wrap Eleven around his little finger so that they could both escape. He might have used this same boyish charm of his to get close to Terry, and in so doing, they could have had an intimate moment, or several, while in the laboratory. It's also possible, however, that the relation between the two was very one-sided, and that Eleven's conception is a lot darker than this, as we know that Henry just saw humanity as a pest, so he might have just simply used her for his own gain. Still, there's a lot of evidence for Henry slash Vecna being Eleven's father. It would also explain why he was so very hell-bent on getting her on his side. And it would also explain why he wanted her to stay in the closet as he went back and slaughtered everyone in the laboratory. Now, yes, he did seemingly try to kill Eleven when she refused to join his crusade, but he did take his sweet time while doing so, and he didn't exactly look happy while doing it. This could suggest that he might still care for her somehow, and it would make even more sense if she was his daughter. 
Eleven being the daughter of Henry Creel would also explain why Dr. Brenner had such an interest in Eleven in the first place and why he favored her among all of the other test subjects. And this is because the circumstances of her conception could explain why Eleven is so extremely powerful. So powerful, in fact, that she was able to, according to this theory, overpower her own father, who you could consider the strongest of all the test subjects. Either that, or he still had a soft spot for her, and maybe subconsciously he let her overpower him. Nevertheless, if this theory proves to be true, then this could make the finale even darker than we might expect. But it would also bring some additional depth to the characters of both Eleven and Vecna. Oh, and possible future spoilers by the way, you've been warned. Now because of what we've seen in the Volume 2 trailers, most of us are expecting at least one or more members of the Hawkins gang to die during the finale, which is a nail-biting prospect in of itself. But because of this, I've seen lots of comments from fans expecting the season 4 finale being like the Empire Strikes Back version of Stranger Things, where the story goes really dark and we'll see our heroes lose. Hard. As I mentioned the Empire Strikes Back there, many of you probably instantly thought of that one scene. Yeah, you know the one. Dr. Brenner. I never told you what happened to your father. He told me enough. He told me you killed him. No. I am your father. Don't fuck yourself! Whoops, sorry for the little spoiler there. Anyway. It is entirely possible that we'll get a scene that's reminiscent of this one between Luke and Vader, where Vecna will be telling Eleven that he is her true father, and that this is why he wants her on his side. We know from the Duffer brothers themselves that the entirety of Stranger Things is basically just a huge love letter to some of the best films in pop culture, like Alien, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, A Nightmare on Elm Street, and much much more. So why not just add the biggest franchise of them all? Star Wars to the mix as well. And by the way, the latest Volume 2 trailer also hints at Vecna winning in the end of the finale, and it sounds like he's indeed speaking to Eleven. Here, check it out. It is over. Now I just want you to watch. So, is it possible that he just puts her in a bind but doesn't kill her? Anyway, this reveal would actually force Eleven to make a choice join her father or help her friends in destroying her own flesh and blood. The only one who could truly, really understand her. I do like this theory myself, as it wouldn't exactly come out of the blue but would serve as a major plot twist. If Henry and Terry actually had a romantic relationship, it would also reinforce the idea that Henry had nothing left in his heart but hatred for everyone except his daughter, since Brenner and the laboratory staff were responsible for breaking Terry's mind. It would also explain why Branner is so hesitant of letting Eleven go back to Hawkins, because if Eleven even has so much as a small moment of weakness for her real father, she will lose, and her friends will die. Anyway, let me know what you think about this theory in the comments below. Oh, and by the way, if you want to check out the main Reddit thread that talks about this very theory, check out the link in the description. And remember to subscribe for more content like this. As always, have a great day. I'm out.